Chapter 1 The Frightened Lady Dr. Watson visits his friend, the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. What's your new case about, Holmes? I don't know yet. A young woman telephoned. She sounded very frightened. She'll be here soon. A little later... Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Holmes. My name is Helen Stoner. I live with my stepfather, Grimesby Roylott, in his family home. I've heard of the Roylott family. Yes, they were rich once, long ago. The house is old now and falling down. My twin sister, Julia, and I were babies when our father died. Then mother married Grimesby. He was a doctor. Take a deep breath, please. But he stopped work when mother died eight years ago. We've gathered here together on this sad occasion to mourn the passing. Mother left £1,000 a year in her will, so we all had enough to live on. But it hasn't been a happy life. No. My stepfather changed so much. Then, two years ago, my sister suddenly died. How did she die? That's why I have come to see you, Mr. Holmes. Her death was so mysterious. Now I'm frightened for my own life. You've got to help me, please. Chapter 2 A Mysterious Death Helen Stoner, a terrified young woman, comes to ask Sherlock Holmes for help. Try to calm down, Miss Stoner, and tell us what happened to your sister. Well, two years ago, Julia got engaged. Will you marry me, Julia? Oh, yes. Yes, of course I will. One night, just before the wedding, she came to my room to talk to me. Helen, do you hear strange noises very late at night? No, Julia. What kind of noises? Every night this week, I've woken up and heard a strange whistling and the sound of metal clanging. Suddenly, at 3 a.m. <coughs> Julia! As I ran to Julia's room, I heard a strange whistling noise and the sound of metal clanging. Julia, open the door! Helen, it was a band, the speckled band. What? What is it, Julia? Uh, Julia! Julia, what's the matter? Julia, speak to me. Julia, are you all right? My stepfather tried to help Julia, but a minute or two later, she was dead. Chapter 3 Helen's Fears Helen Stoner is telling Holmes and Watson about the night her sister died. My sister's death was very strange. Her doors and windows were locked, and there was no one else in the room. Hmm. What about poison? The police couldn't find anything. They tried very hard because... Because? Because of my stepfather. What do you mean? 
He can be very violent. He went to prison once for attacking his servant. What do you think happened to Julia, Miss Stoner? I think she died of fear. And now I'm frightened too. I recently got engaged. Ah, that's interesting. My stepfather's doing some repairs to the house, and he's making me use the room where Julia died. Late last night, I was lying there thinking of Julia, and suddenly I heard a strange whistling and the sound of metal clanging. So this morning, I caught the first train to London to see you. I'm too scared to go back there. I'm afraid you'll have to. I can't help you unless I see the rooms. Is your stepfather at home today? No, he has a business meeting here in London. Good! Dr. Watson and I will meet you at your house this afternoon. Chapter 4 An Angry Visitor Helen thinks her life is in danger, and Holmes agrees to help her. Helen has just left. Which of you is Sherlock Holmes? I am. And who are you, sir? Dr. Grimesby Roylet. I followed my stepdaughter here. Tell me what she said to you. That, sir, is private. I'm warning you, Holmes. Stay out of my business. I punish people who make me angry. Please leave and take your threats with you. That afternoon, Holmes and Watson go to Stoke Moran to meet Helen. I went to check the will that Helen's mother left. Ah, what did it say? That Roylott would control the money, but only until her daughters got married. Look, there's Helen. Let me show you the rooms now, before my stepfather gets back. Did I tell you he went to London today? Yes, and he came to my house after you left. Oh no! If he knows I've been to see you, I'm in even greater danger. Chapter 5 A Strange Room Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson visit Helen's home to investigate her sister's death. So, on the left is your stepfather's room, Julia's is in the middle, and yours is on the right. Yes, but I'm using Julia's room now. Hmm, I can't see any real repairs. Yes, I'm sure it's just an excuse to make me use Julia's room. Let's go and see the room. That rope. It's a bell rope for calling servants. Julia didn't use it. It's quite new though. Yes, my stepfather made some changes to this room not long before Julia died. It isn't real. There isn't a bell, just a hook next to the ventilator. 
And the ventilator goes through to his room, not to the fresh air outside. Was the ventilator another change your stepfather made? Yes, it was. Look, the bed's fastened to the floor. A bed that can't be moved, a ventilator that doesn't ventilate, and a bell that doesn't ring? What does it all mean? It means I must examine Dr. Roylott's room now.